Medical abortion is having a termination of pregnancy with the aid of pills compared with surgery. So it is less invasive and it involves taking two types of pills. The first pill is called mefiprostone and that is an anti-progesterone hormone tablet. Progesterone is a vital hormone for pregnancy and it just is. The pregnancy is named after the progesterone hormone and if the pregnancy is deprived of progesterone, quite honestly, is, an, is unable to survive. Now, once the pregnancy becomes vulnerable, there's another medication given 24 hours later called misoprostol, which then causes contraction of the uterus and then lead to a miscarriage. The process of miscarriage lasts about three to eight hours, starting half an hour to two hours after taking the second medication. It is unusual and rare to have bleeding and miscarriage after the first tablets. Any contraction is translated by pain. With period pain, you have small amount of blood and therefore the pain is mild to moderate. When you have labor, you have a big baby there, so the pain is strong and the contractions are strong and the pain is strong as well. And when you have a miscarriage, it's in between period pain and labor. But quite often, often it's manageable with the aid of medications such as Volterol, but you need a hot water bottle on the side and tender love and care perhaps from your partner. Following medical abortion, you should expect some bleeding like a period for up to two to three weeks. That's the only problem with medical abortion. It's a protracted time. During the time, you're also passing small placental tissue, and therefore you're advised not to travel for two weeks after medical abortion, since any of this tissue can separate and cause heavy bleeding if you are up in midair. Most of the time, people will have no bleeding after two weeks and have a normal period six to 12 weeks later. So once your periods get back to normal, you can try to for a baby again as soon as the circumstances allow you to do so.